Can you explain to me why? We you always think, uh oh, the, you know, a layman watching a fight would say, that guy's a lot taller than the other guy. Uh, that's not fair. A fighter should be the same size and so forth. Can you show me why not being as tall as the other guy can be an advantage? Well, um, like I said before, it's all psychological. If you believe that a guy, everyone always says this guy has an advantage, a seven inch reach advantage, four inch height advantage. No one ever says he has a four inch height disadvantage. Well, let's stand for Come a second, on. we'll see. Just, I think a verbal explanation would be just as good as, as the other kind. But... Yeah, okay, so just... Okay, so you're, you're what, 5'7", um, right? 5'7", I'm 6'2", yeah. it's the cameras. So, then you have to bend your legs. Yeah, bend my legs? Yeah, okay. and I'm a much taller guy. Right, to now. You. I'm more adjusted to throwing my punch like this. I just, ah, and then I have right. To, if you're calm and so relaxed enough, adjust. if you're calm and relaxed enough, you can watch and you can see everything. Uh -huh. And you can watch every twitch of his muscles. But you have to have the confidence and the relaxation. Where, where do you direct your vision? Do you look the guy in the eye? Yeah, do you try to keep right the here. whole form? Right because his face can't hit me. So I only watch right here. I watch his face. Right. I know I've learned some things about martial arts, that in some ways the idea is to look a little somebody, beyond somebody the opponent. Someone was telling me that you're into karate. Uh, not so much karate as uh, Aikido, yeah. I'll show you what I did to Piscopo. It won't oh, work with no. you, but... <laughs> huh? No, come on, you said you have no fear. No. Can you just hold my wrists? Now, with us... Dick. Dick, ho hold Dick. it real tight now. Do no, I won't do anything foolish. Because <laughs> you're... I, I know you're worth a lot of money. I've taken a lot of criticism for this. Okay. The, the, right on the wrist, where it's where I have the... Yeah, good. Now, a, a really strong guy holding me like that... No, I won't, no it won't hurt. I won't be embarrassed if nothing. But if you just hold me down like that, oh. and this is something you illustrated, if I don't think of the place you're holding me, I'm trying to pull up now and you're holding me down. Really hold me down. Oh. Good. What are you, a panty waist? Hold me down. <laughs> now, obviously I can't move and no human being could. <laughs> but the 87-year-old founder of Aikido with this world's strongest man holding him like this, you got me? You do, tell the truth, because yeah. people believe in you, you're a role model. The old, <laughs> the founder of Aikido at 87, being held this way, could do that. Legit? Yeah, all right, but what do, is... Do again, hold tight. <laughs> oh, now you're playing for real. No. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Isn't that remarkable? All right, but what is the purpose? No one's, if somebody's going to monkey, nobody's going to go like this. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Wait. Now, he, wait a minute, he, he, raised, he raised an interesting point. If someone's going to mug you, they don't generally go like that. But if they do, you can do like that. We will, we'll be back right after this. <laughs>